Hello YouTubers, Diecast Collectors. It is Jared White, the JMan63. It is December 26th, day after the holiday or Christmas or what have you. Um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas, great holiday. You know, so hope everyone out there is doing good. I know I've been gone for a long time and no, I haven't disappeared or anything. I just have been kind of busy. Um, really haven't been finding much at mass retail. Um, it's been kind of hard to make a haul video because there's been such a lack of stock here in Newport News, Virginia. So uh, we've been hit kind of hard with a bunch of shoppers and it's just been impossible to find anything. I've been checking stores a bunch. So this haul, there's going to be a lot more secondary stuff. Um, really happy about my channel now. have about 288 subscribers. Doing pretty good. Uh, once I hit 300, I'll definitely be doing a special then or a shout out or something. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Anyway, though, I'm gonna get right into it. So a few months, a few months ago, I'd gone to the flea market and I uh, was gonna buy some Earnhardt stuff, but the guy kind of uh, sort of bailed. So I really couldn't get any Earnhardt stuff from him. So. I wound up going to the back to the flea market a week, about three weeks later because I asked the guy to hold the Earnhardt stuff and we didn't see him when we went. So I decided to make a few pickups. The first thing I bought is this. This is awesome. This is a 100% Hot Wheels 71 muscle car set. These are some of the coolest, uh, these are like some of the coolest sets they did with muscle cars. Um, these are awesome. Uh, this has a 1970 Buick GSX and a Oldsmobile, not Oldsmobile, sorry. That's a Buick. This has, I was thinking of the Toronado. This is a Torino, a Ford Torino, a 70 Ford Torino. I was thinking of the Toronado, but they're two completely different cars. Um, but this is a Torino, Ford Grand Torino, and a Chevelle SS which is these are just incredible and a Dodge Charger 71 Dodge Charger RT these are all 71 cars and uh, um, I meant to say 71 I do have a 70s set of muscle cars and this is the 71 set so I got the date mixed up but these are all from 71 but anyway um, but these are awesome in 71 America's big three we're against government safety regulations and ran against, you know, the s escalating insurance programs, but Motown's muscle cars were still popular among those who rebelled against the four bangers. And, you know, these are just so cool. You know, they give you this entire description on the back here. I just love these 100% sets. This one, I paid around, I want to say, 15 bucks for this. And to give you an idea, this is worth around 40. So this one I only spent 15. I got. I also decided to pick up two more sets. Um, these are a couple that are outside. Uh, Mary and her husband. They all. They sold me these uh, sets. Um, this is the truck show, and I do have all the boxes for these. But I just like their cases so much I decided to keep them out of their boxes. But I do have the original boxes for them. But this is the truck show piece. I spent about $10 on this. So very nice set. Looking at all the details in here. Very awesome. Came out in 2008. This was like the last of the 100% when they were just about to die out. But very cool. And so the other set I bought is the fabulous Fords very cool this is the 50 I think this says the 15 million Ford to roll off the assembly line so I only paid about 10 bucks for both of these sets so that's about 35 dollars which is what I would have spent on that 71 muscle car set but that's not it I actually got as I was headed out since I was looking for an Earnhardt figure from that other guy I managed to get this piece right here, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Let me move this out of the way here for a second. But there's some glare. But this is a McFarlane Toys Dale Earnhardt AC Delco figure. These are the large ones they did. And the packaging's pretty mint, besides a little bit of creasing here, but otherwise it's not too, too bad. Um, 
you can see there's a little bit of a crease right here where this is kind of folded but I only paid about five bucks for it and on the internet these are going for right around 20 bucks so I probably bought more than eighty dollars worth of stuff on eBay if you paid eBay prices for only forty dollars which is what I wound up spending on the Earnhardt, the truck show, the muscle car set, and the 15 million Ford set. So like I said, make sure you check out your flea markets, you know, support the local. So I'm going to move on to more Earnhardt stuff. Since that guy had basically kind of left up and decided to leave shop, um, I decided to go with the internet and eBay, and I because I was looking for this set and I've been trying to find one forever and the guy at the flea market had had it but this is the awesome pit row series and this is so cool because it's got the Earnhardt car and the you can't really see it too too well it, I know this is terrible but it's got like detailed pits and it's really awesome I absolutely love Earnhardt stuff like I said huge fan I've got probably now 10 or 20 Earnhardt pieces at least in my collection not including the 118th scale stuff I'm definitely trying to collect more but this is amazing Dale Earnhardt pulling in very cool and on the back here you can see all the sets that they did had Jeff Gordon with a four tire stop Kenny Irving moving into position this is just awesome you know, they definitely capture the feel of what pit stops were like back in the day. I wish Spin Master would do stuff like this. You know, companies just don't do things like this at all anymore. And this is just an awesome piece. So I did pick that up. That cost me, I think, right around 10 bucks on eBay with all the shipping and everything. So that wasn't too, too bad. And then I've been looking for one of these ever since I saw the Winter Circle Tech series. However, this is a different version. This is by Action, and this is the total concept. Again, another Earnhardt. I did get a lot of Earn cool Earnhardt stuff this year. Um, the body comes off the chassis, which is really neat. Um, you can see right here, and you know this camera is not really doing it well, but there is a ton of detail. Um, I think these things rather more were meant for you know not just as collectors items, but to teach people all the fundamentals of a NASCAR these are awesome and look at how you know detailed the chassis is I mean this just blows the pants off of anything that you'll see in 164th and NASCAR you know now this is amazing piece love it and on the back doesn't really say much but this is kind of like a clamshell protecto that it's in I'm not going to open it right now just because of time but it's really cool and I did pay 10 bucks for this on eBay with shipping and I know a lot of people are going to say that sounds a little out of the question for 164th but um, I think the guy wanted about some guy wanted 20 for one of these at the flea market so I thought that was a pretty decent price on eBay so all in all for the Earnhardt stuff I spent about 20 bucks so very cool piece right here so I also went to the flea market again because I had $75 to spend so I decided I would go ahead and buy more stuff um, I did get a bunch of stuff from the tool guy this time not the other people because they weren't there the last time I went and this was a weekend before Christmas so I decided to go to the tool man's and I spent about $75 first piece I got is this Road Champs 1932 Ford Model B. Now I know y'all are saying Model B. Well, they think the Model A is the most popular. Um, I'm not so sure about this car, but I know this was a Hot Rod Magazine car. Um, this is done by Road Champs. Um, this is a nice piece for 143rd. I mean, it may not be the standards of what green lights are done to now, but this is definitely a cool piece. And just look, they even have the V8 emblem right there and the rumble seat pops up uh, for a 143rd this is pretty cool and they even painted the running boards and the door handles you know, it's a lot of stuff we take for granted now with the you know way they are now but you know back in the day this was cool um, I think this is about five dollars I don't know but I know I spent 75 in all but this is pretty cool right here and another piece I got oh I gotta be careful because these cases are not taped down. That looked a little rough. Hold on. 
Okay, we're good. Anyway, this is a this is the good guys um, rod and custom nomad. Again, very cool piece. Doors actually do open on this, and the tailgate will fold down. Don't really see a whole lot of moving parts on 143rds, so for this scale, it's pretty nice. But yeah, I just saw the little trim paint and way these are done. Door handles. Very cool jeweled headlights, and they even get the marker lights painted. This is an incredible piece. I might have to do a separate video on some of the 143rd I picked up, but those are really nice. Also, got two other pieces from the tool guy. Uh, these are the Gearbox Collectibles Limited Edition 55 Chevy Bel Air. This one is nice, it's cool, and this is an actual pedal car. Um, the wheels do steer, these are rubber tires, pedals work, and yes, they actually do turn the rear wheels. And for something that small, that is pretty neat. It does say that this is chain drive, you can see it says chain driven. This is not, it's it's a rubber belt. I've actually opened this and looked at it, but it is a, it is a rubber belt drive. And it says they're custom printing hidden coin bank. I didn't look at the hidden coin bank but that's pretty neat and the wheels are steerable of course and the movable tires. Don't know how many coins you could really fit inside of this thing but yeah it's pretty neat. I wouldn't put coins in it myself but it's pretty pretty nifty piece. Um, also did pick up the uh, this is the Ford Deluxe Coupe. Um, I didn't show the back uh, bottom here, but you could get these in three colors, as with the uh, Chevy Bel Air. You can see that they're in green. Um, this one, I think, says Texco, but um, this doesn't say anything else. This uh, says uh, Star Chief on it, Texaco Sky Chief, not Star Chief, Sky Chief. Um, this one is pretty neat. I like the uh, Ford. There's a little difference in the champ, the Tampo graphics. I said Champo, Tampo um, on the side of the door here. It does say Sky Chief on it, but really awesome. And there's the back, same as the front, pretty much. And there's a little blurb right here. And there's them on the bottom. Very cool. And I do have to be careful with these cases because they're not taped up, so bear with me for a second. I'm going to be careful with these because these are terribly loose. They don't have any clips holding them in the Road Champs pieces. Um, I did pick two other, and there's a, there's a few more. I did pick two others up from the Tool Guy in the when I spent my $75. I bought this. Uh, these are the Holiday Hot Wheels series. Uh, very awesome and cool. I uh, just absolutely love this piece. This is a Ford Hot Rod pulling a sack of toys. Um, keeping with the spirit of the holidays and Christmas. Very cool piece. If you like this stuff, um, definitely check your secondary markets because this isn't made anymore. Just love the way. It almost looks like a diorama in there, the way it's done. Um, just stuff like that. They do not do that anymore. And you know, that may be a, you know, no real rubber tot riders on it, or real riders, but, and it's a, it is a main line, technically, with a Santa in it, but, you know, I think that, you know, I can excuse that this is just the regular main line, you know, with just the way the presentation is done. I don't care, you know, whether this is 100% or not, I really don't. Care. They made it look really nice. Definitely better than some of the stuff they make now. Awesome piece. Can't really see the detail too well, but this says snow on it. And in the back, it says here you could get the 118th scale uh, slightly modified, which is another piece I'm looking for. It has Santa in it, and I'm trying to find that. But very cool. But that's that one. And I did get a second one. Managed to spend $75 very well. My Aunt Julie gave me that money in a gift card, but I wanted cash instead because I had to go to the flea market because I hadn't seen anything in mass retail at all. But this is the surf set. Very cool with seeing it on the beach and people in the surfboards. And it's got the toy sack again and the surf crate there. Very nice. Okay, so.
Also, I did manage to buy some 1 18th scale from the tool guy. First thing I got is this Chevy street rod. This is very cool. This is a Hot Wheels 1 18th collectibles slash 100%, basically the same thing. Very nice. It's a very cool looking street rod. But yeah, a nice interior, nice cage. Just set up to look like one of those old school cars. Um, very, very nice. Very cool. So, I did get that. I really don't want to read a whole lot because I don't want to run too over my time on this video. But very nice purple. But cool. And I also got another piece. The table is so full that I can't really grab this box. It's sort of unwieldy and hard to grab. But anyway, this is another piece I got. It's a race image. Championship off-road racing truck. Like I said, it's very hard to see it because of the way this is done. Whoops. That got a little squirrely. Oh well. I can't. I won't. Don't worry about it. Um, anyway, got a little shaky there. But this is very cool. Like I said, the box is huge. Um, made out of metal. Mostly all this is put together with screws. Um, very well done piece. Suspension does work. Um, you can look at the back here and see that they had a whole bunch of these. It says die cast chassis, working suspension, highly detailed engines and real working chains. Uh, these these came in the 1/6 scale bikes, ATV, the one, Baja 1000 buggy and truck, the go kart and the hydro. I would like to find the go kart and the hydro. I've never seen any of those for sale on eBay, but this is very cool. Like I said, I bought this and that Chevy and the rest of the stuff. There goes my camera again. My bad. I don't really have it that far in. But anyway, some really cool stuff. Um, Don also hooked me up for Christmas. He got me quite a few cool things. Um, starting with this set right here. Did get a lot of 100% stuff this year, and I'm always happy to because I love 100%. This is the Hot Rod set with the Malco Gasser, the Invader Show car, which is a double engine car, which looks awesome. Uh, but this is the Ohio George 33 Willys. I call it the Malco Gasser because it just says Malco on the side, but very cool. And it's got the Hawaiian funny car. Very neat piece. Uh, I love funny cars, and that's awesome. Very sweet set. And it's got the Pro Street Camaro. Always see the Pro Street selling loose. I had no idea. I wasn't aware that it was part of this set. Uh, definitely a cool, cool set. Hot Wheels collectibles or 100% stuff. You know, definitely love it. I just call it 100%, but, you know, collectibles and 100% is the same thing. I'm sorry about the camera shaking like that, um, but I can't really edit that out. Sorry. Anyway, but very nice set. Okay, so also Don did hook me up with another piece here. Um, this is another Earnhardt piece. Earnhardt's kind of the theme of this video. But this is the trailer rig by Winter Circle with the number three on the side. And this features all his winning moments. And this says Forever the Man. I'm not sure if this is when he died or not, but uh, this is very awesome. Very cool trailer. Um, I do have one already, but it's a basic one. So to get this, oh, just incredible. I love this piece. I love Winter's Circle and I love Earnhardt. I could have a thousand of these Earnhardt rigs and I could get another one. I wouldn't care. I love the trailer rigs they did. These are awesome. I love Earnhardt stuff. And you can see the back here. It's got them all lined up. Just love the artwork on this. And when, you know, this just says the blurb right here. You can pause if you want to read that. I'm not going to read it. There we are. Okay, so my mom probably spent about $60 on the Earnhardt and this rig and the uh, the hot rod set. Um, there it goes again. 
having a lot of issues with this video. Man, this is kind of annoying. Um, anyway, but uh, anyway, Don also gave me this here. Uh, this is a Revell diecast Acura NSX. I absolutely love this car. This is one of my favorite Japanese supercars. The NSX is just cool, you know, in its own right. It was one of the fastest cars when it came out. Um, one of the faster cars. I'm not going to say fastest. I don't think it was, but the acceleration was quick because it was lightweight. And I like the Revell version much better than the new Motormax version because this is a lot more detail in it. Some of, there may not be a whole, whole lot of detail in it, but for what, you know, it is, it's pretty nice. And the fact that it's in red, I love it. Yeah, I've also got a 124 scale Japan GT Championship Muscle Machines Takata NSX, which is really incredible. You know, to have the 118th version of it is really cool too. So the NSX or the Honda, Acura, whatever you want to call it, same car, but very cool. There's a top. I'm not going to show too much of that one because you can't really see it. I'm going to put this back on the counter over here. Um, Lenny, I went to go see my aunts a couple of weeks ago where I got the money that I spent at the flea market and the other stuff. And I did get a few die casts from my aunt first one I got I do have a box for this um, however the box is in terrible shape and I'm debating on how to get that fixed whether or not I might have to go on eBay and hunt for a new one or I don't know but first car here is a 71 or a 70 GSX 71 GSX very cool this is in regal black with the gold stripes I do like the yellow version, but the black version is just as nice. Um, really like the wheels on it. Uh, it is a uh, Ertl American Muscle piece. I do love the American Muscle stuff. The series was great, and like I said, they don't make 118th anymore. So when I can find these, I like to try and pick them up. Um, very nice. Uh, but she got them for me. These are awesome. Uh, her friend Ken has a lot of these and just love the American Muscle stuff so a lot of details on this one very cool I'm not going to show right now I might do a review in the future but very nice if you want to see these reviewed tell me and I'll try and get some up because I don't really have many yet I'm trying to get it back here very carefully um, also this other piece that she got me this is the nicest one I think that I've seen in American Muscle this is the American Muscle Classics 37 Cord 812 Convertible. Uh, just a really nice piece. Um, just got a lot of features. The details on it are incredible for the you know, price. I'm sure these are about $30. And if you buy one of these, you definitely get your money's worth. Very cool. Nice detailed wheels, nice white walls no errors at all with the white walls you know something that a lot of companies have problem is printing these out nicely but very nice piece but yeah um, just a really cool car I love the cord um, but yeah very nice car but like I said you know support definitely uh, check out your secondary markets support them you know I mean, I'll tell you a little more. I mean, I've been going to pretty much every single store, you know, Toys R Us, Walmart, you know, what have you. I've been to pretty much every single store. Uh, there's been absolutely nothing. It's just been a dead lull. You know, it's just been terrible. There hasn't been anything at all. I mean, I've searched everywhere. I've complained to their pages. You know, I've talked to customer service about them getting die cast in. And I even went to like Yorktown and Toys R Us the day before Christmas and a week before and you know five times this month and I just haven't seen anything. Oh, and one more piece I want to mention before I go here is uh, Don also threw this in and I almost forgot to mention it but this is the uh, Ed Newton Triclops. Um, he did give me this. The box was really rough. I just decided to take it out but Don did give me this piece uh, I, I know I'm kinda keeping you here I'm trying not to I don't want to run over 27 minutes because that's all the time I have but very cool piece 
nice front end uh, incredible detail on the engine I'm surprised those shipping straps are still there because usually after a while those things like to go nasty and wear out but very nice piece uh, just a mean looking show car very cool I uh, love the tri-blade wheels on it looks awesome so yeah Don definitely hooked me up and so did the flea market. Like I said, you know, support your your flea market, your yard sales, your secondary places, you know, support eBay. You know, check them out. You know, always, you know, there's definitely a way to get stuff in the markets if you want it. So, you know, it's definitely available to you. So make sure you check that out. Um, I am Jerry White, the J-Man 63. And, uh... Hope you guys had a good Christmas, and stay tuned for part number two. Number two.